Hi, this is Nev Lapwood, snowboardaddiction.com. We're at Whistler Blackcomb, and this is a tutorial on how to do 270s out when jibbing. 270s out of features is a way to add difficulty and style to your jib tricks. We cover the two most common ways to 270 out, the tail slide 270 and the front blunt 270. Tail slide 270. The 270 out that most riders will find the easiest to learn first is a tail slide 270. This trick uses similar movements to a frontside 360, but with a jib feature in the middle. You should easily be able to do front threes off small features and on flat ground before you try this. Step one, movement. Pretend you're coming towards a box. Wind up a little like a front three. Jump into a 90 degree position with your weight over your back leg. This makes it a lot easier to pop a 270 up. As you're sliding, your upper body continues to rotate around until you reach a maximum wound up position like this. From here, it's easy to snap a 270 off using counter rotation. When you land, your upper body is facing uphill using a blind landing, similar to how you land a front three. Jump this movement a bunch of times on the ground until it flows and you start to feel how it works. Winding up, jumping into the tail slide, rotate with your upper body, 270 out. It's a combination of using rotation through most of the trick, combined with counter rotation right at the end. Step two, buttering. Buttering is a great way to learn any kind of jibbing tricks, and it's relatively safe. If you fall or catch an edge, it's unlikely you'll hurt yourself. A tail slide 270 works extremely well when buttering. Ride down the slope, ollie and rotate onto your tail. Open up your upper body and snap the 270 out. The important difference is that when buttering on snow, you need to be on your heel edge to avoid slamming. Whereas when a box, it's critical to use an absolutely flat base or you'll slip out. Step three, balance bar. Before you take the tail slide 270 to a real feature, it's best if you practice and refine your skills using a balance bar and training board. We sell both these training tools on our website, however you can also build your own. On your balance bar, jump up into the tail slide, balancing on your back foot. Open up your shoulders, and when you reach a maximum wind up, counter rotate the 270 out, landing blind. The reason you put your weight on your back foot is that it makes it so much easier to pop the 270 out with a small ollie. The more you practice it here, this movement and the required balance gets drummed into your muscles, making it far more likely you'll stomp this on the mountain. Step four, tail slide 270. On hill, find the easiest feature you possibly can. This box here is very wide, it's almost flat. It has a ride on and it's low to the ground. It's a very safe box. Warm up by doing a board slide and then a board slide to fakie. Try a tail slide to fakie with your weight over your back foot. This uses the same position as a tail slide 270 out, but with less rotation. When you want to snap a 270 out, you've got to be in a max wound position where your upper body can't go any further. This is what makes it easy to get the 270 out. Watch my approach closely. You'll see I'm setting up in a similar way as if I'm doing a frontside 360. Approaching with a little toe edge set up carve, then transferring onto my heel edge. This set up line helps to initiate your momentum into the frontside direction. As you ollie, rotate 90 degrees, landing in a tail slide, and continue rotating your upper body while sliding. If you're in this twisted position at the end of the feature, you should find it pretty easy to counter rotate the 270, landing blind. If you've done a bunch of standing warm ups, buttered this trick, and practiced on a balance bar, then you should nail it pretty quickly on an easy feature like this. Step 5 Street Style. Once you've got the basic movement of the tail slide 270, you can start to try it on features that require a street style approach and rails. This feature here is a very easy down box, but it has the street style approach where you have to approach from the side to get onto it. 
The trick's name now becomes a backside blunt slide 270 out, aka back blunt 270, because as you approach, the feature is on your backside. It should feel like you're coming in for a board slide and then pushing your weight onto your tail. The motion of pushing onto your tail helps to open up your shoulders, putting you into a wound up position to 270 out. Land blind, looking uphill, then turn into your new direction of travel as you ride away. You can take this trick to a lot of bigger features as you're comfortable. It looks rad and gives you a lot more cred and style than just doing board slides. Learn it on the easiest feature you can find before stepping it up. Front Blunt 270 a frontside blunt slide 270 out is the exact same trick but opposite. The main difference is you slide the feature backwards. The approach and movement with your body is similar to how you spin a backside 360 but with a box or rail in the middle. Step 1. Movement. Jump the movement a bunch of times with your board off to understand what's happening. Lightly wind up. Jump into the 90 degree position, weight over your back foot, and rotate your upper body all the way around until you're in this position looking back downhill. This is the most important part of this trick. Look at my upper body versus my lower body. It looks like I'm doing a switch frontside board slide. From this position, your momentum will carry through and make it easy to pop the 270 out. Step 2. Buttering. When you're buttering on the snow, it's safe and easy to learn the motion. The difference from a box is that when buttering you use a very active toe edge so you don't catch and fall. Wind up a little bit in a similar way to a back three, jump into a 90 degree position, look all the way around, and when you get to the maximum look around, you're going to feel it want to 270 out. Step 3. Balance Bar if you have a balance bar and training board, this is going to refine your balance and will break all these movements into your muscle memory, so when you get on the mountain, this trick becomes easy. As you're practicing, position your weight on your back foot. You should find that this makes it so much easier to pop the 270 out. Step 4. Front Blunt 270 Find the easiest feature you possibly can, something like this. As you approach, it looks like I'm going to do a back three. Heel edge setup carve, transferring to a toe edge setup. This helps to initiate your momentum into the backside direction. A tiny bit of wind up, jump into your tail, rotate your upper body all the way around until you're in this position looking back downhill. At the end of the box, if you're in this position, it's easy to continue momentum through and snap out the 270. The landing is easy, looking forward where you're heading. Step 5. Street Style Ultimately, you want to move this trick onto larger features with a street style approach. This is where the naming comes from. It's a frontside blunt slide 270 out, because as you approach, the feature is in front of you on your front side, and you're jumping over it to your tail, which is a blunt slide. This little down box is a great learning feature to try out the street style approach. Take off from your toe edge, which helps to lead your momentum over the box. You catch the box lightly under your back foot on purpose to stop the momentum from going right over. Then while sliding, twist your upper body around, getting yourself into this position for the 270 out. If you can get the body position right, the 270 will come around easy. As you start to try it on bigger features, you can slow the movements down and let them flow. Summary. Doing 270s out of boxes and rails is tricky at first, but can add some really nice style to your jibbing tricks. There are other ways to 270 out, but these are two of the most common and are relatively easy to learn on basic boxes. Don't skip the training steps. Putting in the time off the hill makes you far stronger when out shredding. This is Nev Lapwood, snowboardaddiction.com. 
Our goal is to improve your writing.